Coming up in just a second, we're going to be going on uh, back to the Extra Life Marathon, and the game we're going to be playing is Monster Truck Madness 64. Uh, it's a, kind of a hybridization of Monster Truck Madness 1 and 2 for the PC, ported to the Nintendo 64. I think it takes a little bit of each of those games and kind of just does this with them. Uh, it's a pretty good game. Monster Truck Madness 1 and 2 are remembered pretty fondly by fans of the racing genre, fans of monster trucks, and fans of just vintage computer software in general. It's one of those all-around, uh, very fondly remembered good games. So we're going to be playing through the beginner circuit, and the reason for that is because uh, the different circuits start adding more courses, and it tends to get a little bit... Uh, a little bit repetitious. This is a gorgeous game right here. They don't they don't make them like they used to. <laughs> That's probably very loud too. You see trucks where are the dinos. Fortunately, dino trucks, they never got a game. As far as I'm aware, they never got a game. Going down to circuit mode. Of course, going to the beginner circuit. Maybe, maybe it's loading something really cool. What the fuck did you do? Come on, army. Come on. Would you just give up? You, 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 you fucking took us right to the edge. Yeah, we're not gonna get any trucks. Okay. Trying again. So we're gonna go to the beginner circuit race. We got all the trucks that were popular in 1998 or whenever this came out. You got Overkill, uh, still around today. The Outsiders, not still around today. Nightmare, still around today. Uh, Monster Patrol, definitely still around. Hollywood Hogan, not. All these wrestling trucks are pretty much gone. Uh, Brett, the Hitman Heart, no. Fire, uh, Firestone Bigfoot, yes. The Executioner, Yes, Gravedigger, absolutely. Carolina Crusher's still around, it doesn't look like that anymore. Uh, Boogie Van, I don't think Boogie Van races anymore. Bigfoot, my god, Bigfoot. This is, you're not gonna see Bigfoot and Gravedigger in the same game again. I mean, these are two completely different licenses now. You're never gonna see them like this. Uh, Barefoot, still around. Police Truck still runs, but this is more of a generic name because they didn't get the license to it. Wildfoot still around. Uh, Stinger, this is Sting, the the, the the wrestler you see on the, the hood. It's not around anymore. Black Stallion, it still exists, but it's not called Black Stallion 2000. Of course, Snake Bite's still around. Uh, Samson, I don't think, is still around. Uh, Rampage exists, and now we're, we're back to Overkill. So, I'm gonna go back. I don't know who we picked last time. Probably picked a Bigfoot or something. I tell you what. Since we've been having a, a snake theme going on this stream, let's go ahead. Let's pick Snake Bite. Get ready. Go. Yes. Okay, so the way this works, well, first Don't of all, to hit your checkpoint. let's let Army finish talking. Don't forget to hit your checkpoints. There, it took him a second. <laughs> That's great. That's great. <laughs> I needed this. I needed this laugh. All of these items do really stupid things. Uh, the shield is magnetic. It repels things away from you. This shield just makes it so that you don't collide with anything. It turns off collision with everything except for the ground. That's oil. Obviously, that's gonna do what you think an oil slick power up does. This guy got in front of me somehow. Overkill. It's time to overtake him in the most radical way possible. Here it is. America! Okay. It didn't have to be that extreme with it, but it wouldn't be Monster Truck Madness without something just absolutely off the fucking wall. That's a nitrous power-up, I, I missed it. My bad. So the way this game works is, we don't actually, these are checkpoint races. Obviously, the guy won't shut up about it. 
Checkpoint. Case in point. Uh, but you don't actually have to drive on the course. Checkpoint. If you know the fastest route, you can actually. Oops. You can actually just drive across entire stages and uh, and get to the checkpoints even faster. So the, the current world record holder does exactly that. Uh, I don't really practice this game enough to know where you can and can't drive to get to those checkpoints. Also, what the hell is up with Snake Bites? I used to not think that uh, the, the vehicles had any difference in handling, but man, that... I might have been wrong about that, because Snake Bite turns like shit. Also, Grave Digger's right behind me. Go away, Grave Digger. Hell yeah. Don't don't look at that and tell me that's that that ain't cool. That's not that's not cool. I definitely didn't need to do that. We're <laughs> in fourth place. Great. It's time, time to fix that though. We got a nice right here. No, we don't. No, we don't. I got hit. Excuse me. Got something even cooler. Check this out. Here we go. We're gonna fly. We make it there in the end. Checkpoint. That counted. One more lap to go. Checkpoint. When it's going your way, it's still going your way. I don't know what that means, Army. Checkpoint. It's not going my way. I'm flying off the course. Checkpoint. This is also just the first stage and I'm, I'm, I'm already like all over the place. I love I love this commentary though. The big truck's coming. Yeah, it totally is. Checkpoint. I don't understand how the placement works in this game, because right now I'm in the lead and it thinks I'm in I've been going I've been alternating between first, second, third, and fourth place, like the whole race. Even though I'm I'm clearly ahead of the pack. I didn't do the mega jump because we're on the final lap. I didn't wanna you know, I don't wanna screw it up because we're almost at the end there. That's the way I'm gonna do. Oh, there it is! Gotta get there in style. What a finish! What a race! <laughs> what a finish! There's no day like payday! No day like payday. I, everything this man says, I can get I can ready. agree with. Go! Yeehaw! Don't forget to hit your checkpoint! I'll try to keep that in mind, Army. Because you have a crush doesn't mean you can drive. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> Shit. I've said it before and I'll say it again. One of the things I love the most about this game is that uh, it is is how the game handles Army's commentary. He doesn't uh the game will not cut him off. If if you do something that would spawn him that would not spawn him, prompt him to say something else, he's gonna finish what he started saying and then he'll say the other thing. It cues it up. It doesn't just it doesn't just interject. So you know, you can when the start of the, when the race starts and people are trading paint and banging around and stuff like that, he'll um that counted good. He'll start saying stuff and you'll be hitting checkpoints and you'll have passed the checkpoint. Like, like, like right now? He's too busy saying this will be an Olympic event in the year 2000, but it's 2019. We ain't racing monster trucks in fucking in fucking Tokyo, okay? It's not gonna happen. I don't think you can fit a monster truck in Tokyo. But uh, then he says checkpoint, which which I love. Checkpoint. Missiles? Can they? No, they can't. They can't. They they kind of hone in, but if the guys are too far away, they're not gonna. They're not gonna get. One of the funnest things to do in this game that I remember uh, me and my brother would do is we would just like drive around and just see, just see what's out there, like what's in these courses. Because, like I said, you don't have to follow the path on the road. You can do whatever you want to, to get there. So 
sometimes they would hide things like a big hockey puck made out of the. Uh, oh, is my camera frozen again? Fucking god, everything I own is total shit. Can't, I mean, I'll try to fix that between races real quick. If you, uh, at least it looks like I'm having fun. Hang on. Here comes the big boys. We got one more lap. I'll fix it between races when the game is like busy doing stuff. Ah, snake bite, please. Like, there's no reason for the webcam to stop working. I haven't done anything to it. I haven't touched it since the stream started. But it just freezes on its own. You know? I don't know why. I spend way too much money that I'm comfortable admitting on all this crap. And none of it ever fucking works. Great. Oh, now we got a nitro. Oh my god, this is too much for me. Okay. I'm about to say, please, army, I can only get so hard. <laughs> that's a that's a shrink beam. Basically the lightning power up from Mario Kart. Okay. There can only be one. It's just like Highlander if it's a monster truck. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a real flattering thing for that camera to have frozen on. Come on, hurry up and come back to life, you piece of shit. It's not coming back on. Really? Really? We're doing this right now in the middle of the fucking run, huh? That's how, that's how it's gonna be. That's how it's gonna be. That's how it's gonna fucking be. Okay, great. That's fine. Wasn't gonna set a new personal best anyways. Get ready. Go. If money were no object, I don't know what I would do to fix the problems I have with this. Yeah, go away! Go away! Go way over there! You too, Monster Control. I don't know what I need to do to fix the issues I just seem to always have with this, with this computer. I built this computer specifically to be able to stream as best I could, and it still just doesn't work. I don't know if it's just getting tired. I don't know what the, I don't know what the problem is. But this is why I don't work in IT anymore, because I can't handle shit like this. It makes me angry. I don't know if you guys can tell with all the F-bombs I'm dropping trying to fix the camera, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not looking to set any world records during my Extra Life Marathon, but I would like to treat these as respectable speed ones. I mean, that's that's what I like to do. I speed run video games. It's my hobby. I enjoy doing that. You know, it, it's, it's fun. And when, when this crap doesn't work, I can't explain how mad that makes me. I didn't get that either. That also makes me angry. I don't think I, I I don't know if you can drive through all that I don't know what I hit there I don't know if you can drive through that junk that's near the finish line I don't think you can I think I've tried that and it doesn't quite work I think those all have collision and they don't move I don't know why but they do This is one of those courses where you can save a lot of time knowing exactly where to go. I think you can also save a lot of time by using that, that Chaos Emerald power up, that, this, this thing right here. Because this makes it so that, for some reason, you also get a lot more traction. And a lot of the bumps in the road don't really seem to disrupt your driving as much as they tend to do. I don't know why. Checkpoint. don't know why it's, it's that specifically. You know what? Screw it. Let's nitro. Oh, I fucked that up. Whoa! <laughs> Roll over, Beethoven. The 
Okay. Armstrong, the commentator for this game, at least he, he never fails to make me smile. With his, with his very uh, contagious enthusiasm for monster trucks. So this man loves trucks. Ladies, find you a man who loves you as much as Army Armstrong loves monster trucks, okay? <laughs> We picked a bad truck for this run. <laughs> I really think there might be a difference in like abilities. The game just doesn't show them to you. Because originally I just thought that everybody just kind of had the same stats, which I thought was cool because it meant like you you don't have to play as Grave Digger to be the fastest truck, right? Because of course Grave Digger or Bigfoot, they're going to have the best stats because they're the, they're the most popular, the most famous trucks. Giving everybody the same stats was a nice equalizer because it meant you could play as anyone. And as long as, you know, if you were good, you would Here get ahead of the pack. I don't think it works that way. Check the snake bite definitely doesn't play like a lot of the other trucks we've, what we've a driven. Finish, what a race. There's no day like payday. There is no day like payday, Army. I think this course only has Here two laps. Just look at that map. It's a lot of map. Don't forget to hit your checkpoint. We also get a nice little uh, reprise of the theme song here. I think the I think the version of the theme song that plays during the race, I think is slightly different. It's meant to loop better than the, the title track actually does. This course introduces you to the fact that you don't have to stay on the beaten path. I think. Maybe. Checkpoint. One of these courses makes it so that if you actually follow the damn, if you follow the dirt path, you're gonna drive into the water. Otherwise, or if you go to the right, there's a there's a rock you can drive on instead. It's either this one or it's the next one. Checkpoint. Really thought I picked that up, but okay. Go. This is just basically an instant win. Checkpoint. Excuse me. <laughs> this is never not fun. It's almost unfair how OP that item is. But when you get that, you just go over everything. The only drawback is that uh, it, it, the momentum is really rough on that. Oh, you know I'm gonna do it. You know I'm gonna do it. Beautiful. There it is. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know why they gave me this one. I don't know where I'm supposed to jump. Oh, I, I think you can drive up there again. Yeah, you can drive up there and skip this water park. That's not what I was referring to. But this part's not too too hard. You can kind of see, you can kind of use the sides right there to see where the land's poking out to kind of see what to avoid. That one's not too bad. It's definitely, the, it's definitely on the next course though, where they give you, they give you the option of following the road or going on the rock. And if you follow the road, you'll hit a wall you can't get past. Checkpoint. Go. I'm getting the hang of snake bite. He's a little bouncier than some of the other trucks. I, I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I think we've played through this game as like Bigfoot. We played as, we played through as Samson. I think we play, we've definitely played through as Monster Patrol before. Checkpoint. Maybe Boogie Van? I think we did Boogie Van during one of the practice runs of this game. That was driven by uh, Pamela Vader. His last name was actually Vader. I thought that was, that was pretty interesting. There we go. Now I hit the bat. Shrink him for no reason. 
I could also talk a little bit about what the different difficulty uh, options do for this game. They basically only affect how fast the AI trucks can drive. Um, they don't really change anything else. I'm trying to slow down so whenever the flight tower up expires, it doesn't just throw me out across the place. But, oh, hang on. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The, the, the difficulty modifiers affects how fast the AI Because you go. have a truck doesn't mean you can drive. Let's see what you got. It's really about it. Checkpoint! And then it also adds uh, extra tracks on the, in the game. And the reason, one of the main reasons why I don't um, play on anything higher than beginner, at least for like marathon settings, is because some of the tracks, there are weather effects on every track. Um, kind of gives some variety to things. And, you know, I'm gonna jump over this. I'm gonna see if this is gonna mess me up. No, that's gonna mess me up. Not too bad. But anyways, there's, there's weather effects. And one of the weather effects is just night, where you can only see really with the truck headlights. Checkpoint. One oh, more oh, this is a three lap course. Oh, I, I lied to you. And playing through some of the stages, uh, the later harder Checkpoint. stages, there's still new courses. But playing through with just the headlights on the truck is extremely difficult. And on those, of course, the AI trucks are going to be moving a lot faster. So it's Here it's just a bad cocktail. Boy. You're basically asking for runs to die. Check and if I, get, if I get a little more free time in the future, I would like to, you know, this is one of those games I would love to spend more time with and get good at. Because it's, it's a fun game to play. It's not hard to play. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy to pick up, but there's a lot of subtleties to this, like getting the hang of kind of drifting around these corners, knowing when to pick up these items and when best to use them, like this one that turns off the collision, Can't, you know, when, when do you use the jump spring, you know, when's that the most opportune time to use it, to, to skip the level and go to the next checkpoint, there, there's a lot of stuff like that to discover in this game, and I would love to just spend a few weeks just hanging out and just doing that. But just as it stands like right now, I don't have the freedom to do that, so instead we're going to play beginner mode in the extra life there. One more time for the people in the back. Why have trees that you can drive through? You can only drive through the little ones. Checkpoint. The big trees do have collision, and they have very weird collisions. A lot of objects in this game have hitboxes that don't make a lot of sense. You know what? I'm so far ahead. What happens if I skip the water? What happens if I go up here? Because you can go up here, right? See, it's, look, it's giving me so much nitrous. It won't, uh oh. That's alright. No, no, okay. And there it is. Okay, that wasn't too bad. But you can see there's more nitro power-ups up there, so they, they kind of definitely want you to do that. What a finish! What a race! What a finish. There's no what a race. Like Alright, this one has two laps. Get ready! Go! I think this is the course I was thinking about when I said uh, the one that get you to drive up on the rock. Light them up. Look at that. Love that. It like, it, it barely disorients them. It's great. They get right back on their bullshit. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, if you crash through that tiki head and just drive in the water, uh, you'll hit a wall you can't get up. So the game kind of, this is the game's way of telling you that you can kind of, you know, go your own path. You don't have to follow exactly where the road leads because sometimes it might lead you somewhere bullshit. That's really the only time they do it. But it's 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 those subtle hints in the design of the game that, that I think make this special. Because it, it basically it tells you, you know, hey, if you really just want to run this like a normal race racetrack, okay. You don't have to. You can do whatever you want. This music is great, because there's a part in it that's playing right now. I don't know what they're saying, but ever since I was a kid, I always thought they'd been saying Flintstone's going to hell. Look out, fellow! 
<laughs> Flintstones going to hell. Uh, Checkpoint. Oh man, I'm gonna hit that wall. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, I saw that coming. Okay, you done? Good. One of the, I think I've been playing the N64 version of this game this a lot a lot event for, in the year for each of the marathons. I think this is only the second time we've done Monster Truck Madness in a marathon setting. I'm probably going to give it a rest in Extra Life because I would like to do it another marathon at some point in the future. That's all about off-roading and monster trucks and stuff like that. So I'd like to kind of delegate games like this over to that. And I want to play the PC version someday, because the PC version looks a lot better. And there's also a cheat code to let you play as Robosaurus. The, the big robot truck that, um, that eats jump cars and stuff that, like, you know, tractor pulls. Oh, no, that's a bad jump. That's okay. We'll, we'll make it. We'll get there. Here come the big boys! Here come the big boys. Flintstones are going to hell. Flintstones have been to a, a lot of places. They went to Viva Rock Vegas. And hell, apparently. Checkpoint. One more lap to go. See, like right now the game says I'm in fourth place. I don't know. I don't know who's telling us I'm in fourth place. I'm in the lead. Checkpoint. It even says like when it when it shows the checkpoint compared to the previous checkpoint, it says I'm 13 seconds ahead of the person behind me. Like, look. Checkpoint. Well, not. I guess that was for the lap. I guess. What's next? A triple axle from a double axle? <laughs> What's next? A triple axle from a double axle? I don't even know what that means. Is that like an ice skating fun? Here we go. All right. Hell has no fury like a monster truck sword. Damn right, Hell has no fury like a monster truck score. Checkpoint! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Alright. I'm trying to be very careful around here. The road is very uneven in this track. And this is where we separate the man from the boy! I know. Army, I know. But you can kind of tell, you're, you're kind of always fighting with the terrain. And there is, there, like right here, you got to watch out for that. There's a bump in the road right there that you get airborne off of. So you want to make sure you're lined up straight on that. This is a surprisingly, I don't, I don't, I hate to use the term technical to describe a game where you just drive a goddamn monster truck around a bunch. But there, there's a lot of technical aspects to this game that it's it's a it's really execution based sometimes. And the clock continues to tick away. Army, I'm in first place. Don't tell me about the, the clock ticking away. Checkpoint. I'm winning. When it's going your way, it's still going your way. I really wish that there was like a. I wish there were fortune cookies that had this guy's quotes on it. You know what I mean? You crack open a, a, after a meal and it's like, when it's going your way, it's still going your way. So I finished in first place, even though it said I was in fourth for the entirety of that race. I don't know what the hell was going on there. Get ready! It didn't mix up the trucks at least. We are racing different people. For a while I thought it, it just it always picked the same trucks for every every course that you race on, but we got Grave Digger and we got Carolina Crush Race, so we, I didn't see them earlier. not fun. This is one that you really got to pay attention to. I don't know, I don't yet know if, if the checkpoint flags have infinite height. I'm scared to test. 
I don't want to assume that. I don't want to fly over it and find out that. Because that's the thing, right? Is like, as you go through the course, Army doesn't shut up. So, you, if, you, if you fly over something and you just assume that you got it, and you find out he hasn't said checkpoint yet, you're like, oh, I didn't get it, did I? Army. supposed to have control. Maybe that's the beauty of Monster Truck Madness. Maybe, maybe you are just supposed to drive like a goddamn maniac and everything is just a nightmare. I know right here, you want to use that immediately because if you, if you take that turn too wide, you're going to hit that Minecraft box right there and that's just going to screw things up. Like instantly. You don't want to touch that. Epic finish. <laughs> Photos taken moments before disaster. Okay, the wasteland course. This one, this is probably where it gets the hardest playing through on this circuit. Because this course is unforgiving. Don't forget to hit And there are a lot of there are there are a couple of points in this course where the game not so subtly hints that you can just, just drive out of here and jump over stuff. But they're tricks that if you mess these tricks up, you're really in trouble. Uh, something threw me off right there. Like right here, it's going to give me a jump power up. You know what? Let's just see. Okay, okay. That, that went better than expected. If you mess that jump up, you fall in the water, you fall off the track, and you pretty much lost the race. Right here, this bridge, if you fall off of this bridge, you're Get fucked. Point. Don't fall off of that bridge. That's my only advice to you playing this game. Roll, baby, roll. Stay on the bridge. Let me 
me over, please. Thank you. And after all that, the trucks have caught right back up with me. That was that was such a that was such a great moment. I finally Good just boy. got the nerve to do the hyper jump. It just doesn't matter. And sting, get out of here, Sting. Damn it, Sting. Let's see what you got. Oh, I didn't think I was going to use that. I thought I flipped. That road ain't big enough for both of you. <laughs> Army, there's four of us. What do you mean the road ain't big enough for both of you? Oh my God, he's just the the collision. There. What's Wildfoot doing? He's like spinning around on one wheel. Like you don't wanna, you don't wanna. This it's so weird because like you don't wanna hit trucks in this game. Because when you start hitting each other, that's when things start breaking. I think it's all messed up. Oh, God. oh man, I missed that power up. Are you kidding me? You kidding? Oh, am I stuck in this tree? Are you being for real right now? Okay, okay. What the hell is happening? That. Hang on. We're taking this. Checkpoint. It's gonna be risky strats. That's okay. Here I come. Look out! <laughs> We're back in third. Stan, you stupid fuck! Come on, you guys! Learn how to drive! Not a bit. Oh, there's Wildfoot doing his thing again. Please don't knock me off the cliff. <laughs> Either of you, please don't knock me off the cliff. Holy shit! That 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 this this course is being rough tonight. I don't know why. One more lap to go. You can go really fast right here. You gotta be very careful. You can also destabilize. Like right here, the road just turns to shit. And you can you hit a bump and you'll start flipping like I did on the first lap. Somebody is way back, and you know what? Screw it. Do it again. Oh, that's that's exactly what. If, if you hit that, oh my god. Okay. If you if you start hitting obstacles as you try that trick, that's when you screw it up. I can't believe I landed that. Also, I was gonna say I think Wildfoot's out there in fourth place, having a not having a fun time. Probably got stuck on something like I did, because it's the AI. They just you know on beginner they go so slow they just never recover. We've played this before where um, AI racers like they'll get stuck in the level geometry. And because they're not flipped over, the game doesn't uh, the game doesn't give them a respawn, so they just stay there. They're out for the race. Checkpoint. Which that's always helpful when that happens because then it basically means you can't lose. If you get fourth place, you're out. Hell has no fury like a monster truck scored. And there's a fair chance we might see it on the next level, the last race. Jack there one. it is. All right. So let's see something. I think with this, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is bad. I shouldn't have done that. It's okay. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Look at that. Look at that. Jack one. That's fine. I couldn't have picked a stupider place to do that. Because the the finish line's right here. What there we go. No like Alright, so this I believe this is gonna be the last one. Get ready. Go. Don't forget to hit your checkpoint. I won't. I'll hit that checkpoint. Okay. 
So these courses, these like ruins based courses, these ones always are always kind of iffy to me because not all the checkpoints are like flags you drive between. Some of them are just like rocks on the side of the road. And I think they function, I, they function the same way as, as a normal checkpoint, but I always feel like I gotta get real close to those rocks for it to count. It always makes me real nervous. Probably gonna see a couple of them. Sure, why the hell not? <laughs> oh no. It's fitting that we get the uh, reprise of the uh, title thing for this course. Here's a. Uh, is this the second no, one? That's not one of the skips. This level has a pretty free skip that I, I usually always go for. It's coming up actually, it's after this turn. It's right here. By the Jack arena point. box. So if you use this item to disable collision with everything, you can just make this jump right here. You can go straight through that checkpoint, no problem. Checkpoint. That's basically free. Otherwise, you have to do that miniature hairpin turn Get around one. that thing. One and, more and, and get time. And get time. This is a speed run, you guys. It's important that you don't do that. Checkpoint. What's next? A triple axle from a double axle? It's like the fifth time he said that, and I still don't know what he means. Checkpoint. Oh, I should have jumped. Oh, Hello. fuck off. No. No. Stop it. Army, quit saying dumb things. You're what you are these trucks doing? Mean you can drive. Let's see what you Come got. on, man. You both hitting trees Still sideways? Like a monster truck cord. Trying to wrap your bumpers around those trees? I don't know what the hell. Checkpoint. I really thought I had that. <laughs> Magic puree in a box. And we activate. No collision. Finish line. Checkpoint. Right up ahead. And I think that's gonna be the end of the circuit right here. What a finish! What a race! I think. There's no day like yes. Day. So that is uh that is time on Monster Truck Madness. So the total time. Let me actually switch over to the to the other screen so I can see my. So that was what 30 39 51. Let's go. Let's go look at the leaderboards for that real quick. Just to, what the hell is wrong with this thing? Just just fucking just go back to it. So, real time, 39 51. In game time, 37 08. Like we haven't advanced. I haven't advanced a rank on the leaderboards yet. But my current time is 41 08 RTA. 39.19 in-game time. So this is an improvement of basically two minutes uh, on, on each of those. So that's pretty substantial. That's even with me getting angry and having to fix my camera, I still managed to save two minutes off of my time. So that's uh, pretty impressive, actually. <laughs> I think that's the reason why I didn't save as much uh, uh, of the uh, the in-game time as, as I did uh, for the, the game's real time I actually got a, a much better time on that because I didn't I didn't mess with the camera during the race uh, that's monster truck madness 64 that game is a ham sandwich and a half uh, like I said the next time I stream this game in, in, in a marathon setting the next time you guys see it will probably be the PC version uh, I happen to own both monster truck madness 1 and 2 and uh, they're both great they both have amazing soundtracks uh, they're really 
something special. So Monster Truck Madness 64 is not a bad game, but I feel like maybe in a marathon setting, this is the we've taken it the farthest we can take it. I don't want to hammer on this one too many times. I don't want to, you know, I don't want people to get tired of it. Thanks for checking out this video. Leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you didn't. By the way, your feedback is appreciated. And you can also subscribe to Gatorbox if you like this content and want to see more of it from us. Catch us live Friday nights at 9 p.m. Central at twitch.tv forward slash Gatorbox. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash Gatorbox or streamlabs.com forward slash Gatorbox.